Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the updates in Lightroom 8.4. Hey folks, new update time, and yes, I haven't done a video since the last update. Uh, won't talk about that here now though. All right, but we're gonna dive into some of the new stuff that's in Lightroom 8.4. Uh, there's like new GPU acceleration. There's now batch HDR, which is the thing I've been really waiting for. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will cover it briefly in this video, but I'm gonna show it in a real estate situation and uh, using presets to speed up that particular workflow so I'm going to do that rather than just have it combined in this as a long video I'm going to do it as a separate video because then it's useful just for people looking specifically for that and there's also things like labels and collections and some general improvements so let's just dive in and start looking at it basically okay so GPU has been used for a little bit for some of the stuff but it hasn't really been used for the actual processing itself and now it is so if we actually it's not necessarily on by default. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say straight away. So you're not necessarily gonna see it working, doing stuff. It's been used for updates and stuff like that in previewing, but now it's used for all processing and stuff like that. So if you go to your preferences, which are in the edit menu on PC, I'm on Mac here, so it's in the Lightroom Classic menu. And you go to the performance tab, you will see here you have now used graphics processor. Now it's on auto by default, and it usually says something like your system automatically supports basic acceleration so that's what we've had so far but you can go to custom or off and in custom you can use gpu for display and you can use gpu for image processing for process version 5 or higher and i have turned it on there the reason why you have to turn it on is because they haven't had a chance to test all of the cars out there and there are some of them are there are some cards that are already blacklisted so this won't work anyway but it, it just means you have an opportunity to give it a try basically that's what it's it's down to so that is how you actually get it turned on right okay so now i am i'm not even going to really do stuff with it. i mean i could go in and go to develop and process something you, you'll see the gpu symbol down here as, as stuff is happening so that's the display stuff so let's say I change clarity on this or something like that. It's, you know, it's just faster. It's just, it's been nice to use, to be honest. All right. Okay. So j jumping back, what I really want to talk about here now is I'm actually going to create a collection from these images. There's a band I really like called True Tides who are playing in, as part of the Galway Arts Festival, which was on last month. It's a two week long festival. So I'm actually just going to create a collection. Um, so command n create a new collection uh, true tides true tides final all right i'm not going to sync these like in this case i'm just going to click create so one of the new things we have i actually i kind of have i just done already that's the whole lot so what i'm going to do here is i can now right click on this and i can go add color label to collection uh, so i can say have this as a green one to say that okay this is my final edits or I could have this version of it here and I could have this one as say red. So I know that I then need to go and edit that. Okay, so we do have those labels available here. Um, and now just a very, very quick brief mention. As I look down here, trying to find where the uh, labels are. Okay. So you have your Lightroom default. But you can see here that you have folders colors and you now have collection colors so they are separate as well just to mention that uh, so cancel there because i'm not changing them personally i just physically use the colors i don't give them names you may want to do it some other way that's entirely up to you however that's not the way i do it okay so i'm just going to very briefly jump into the hdr batch processing and talk a little bit about that First, I gotta get a folder ready, so. In the magic of video, I have one ready now. So here I have a selection of brackets, okay? Now, I, I do want to speed this up on what I'm doing, but uh, I'm not gonna get too worried about it right now. So literally what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stack these for a second. And I'll cover this in detail in the video, which you can get 
by subscribing to the channel and then you'll see when I do it. I'll probably do it on these images, but with a larger collection of these images. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into photo and stacking and I'm going to go to auto stack by capture time. So I'm going to have a very low amount. So it's got 15 images and these were three image brackets. So it's correctly detected this five stacks. So I'm going to stack these so that they're all ready to go. And if I was doing a panorama, I would do exactly the same thing because you'll have shot them in a short space of time, basically. Um, you'll need to probably work on the stacks themselves for this. But now I'm going to go to the photo menu and I'm going to go photo merge. And this is a HDR. So I'm just going to literally click HDR. And it will automatically know that it needs to go into headless mode to do these. And it'll kind of use the settings you had from before. So I, I think I've got stacking set on already. So if I run through these, what will happen now is we'll see that it says five operations in progress. Now, a quick note, if you're doing a lot of images, um, it will give you a warning. So it'll say, there are more than 50 stacks. Are you sure you want to proceed? And you can proceed. Now, before there used to be a myth that it would uh, like to be like 100 stacks would stop, but that's that's all gone and stuff like that. So it will automatically do all of these operations. And so, yeah, I've got the stacking done. So I think let me have a look here, see what's happening. No, I don't have this. Yeah, I do have the stacking turned on. See where it's gone into four there, so it's got stacking. So if you've got the stacking already set up, it'll do that as well as part of the batch. So even though I just used the normal HDR merge command there, it has still detected that it's not bringing up the dialog box and it's just going to run through these. So this is absolutely fantastic. As we can see now, it's stacked and it's done. I've got auto on, so it's doing that as well. So I'm actually going to skip the rest of this as well. I'm just letting you know that you can do that there. So they've completed in the background there anyway, and we can see that we have the stacks. So this will work for HDR, it'll work for panoramas, and it will work for HDR panoramas. So it will do the whole lot. So I think it's great because I do a load of real estate stuff, and it's going to be very handy for me. So that's why I'm going to do the real estate video. Uh, anything else on that particular note? Not really. There is improvements to library and stuff like that. So you'll see stuff like uh, number counts, which used to be very slow to repopulate. They're all gone faster. So they have done a, a bit of work to, um, what you call it? they've done a bit of work to basically improve library and speed stuff in library. So library, you should find library faster to work with, generally speaking. Oh, one other thing I should mention as well about the GPU stuff is that the GPU stuff, while you will generally see it, it it's actually going to be much better in 4K monitors. Other things that you might probably have seen as we've been working here as well is that we now have the numbers going on here in the actual film strip as well, which is really, really, really cool. Another thing that you've been able to do for a while is that you can use a profile browser to import profiles. You can even import them as zips, but there wasn't very much error correction. And um, so if, the, if it was a password protected zip, for example, it would fail and you wouldn't, you wouldn't get an error. Or if um, you already had some of the profiles loaded, uh, you'd have issues from that as well. So basically, uh, they just sorted out some of those. The other thing is that, and um, we've looked at book, but in terms of web and map, web and map are now using a new underlying engine. Um, they are, they're actually basically web browsers that are behind them, and that's how they're previewed. So that has been updated as well. And then one other thing that you can do now, which you weren't able to do before, so if we go to export, uh, we now have a new option here in export, and that is PNG. You can now export to PNG, and um, so you can choose your color or space and how much, uh, what your what your bit depth is for the PNG on export as well. So that's going to be very handy for a lot of people that are looking for PNG for specific stuff. Uh, it used to be that you could upload PNGs to Facebook and you would get a benefit from that, but they just crush everything now anyway. One of the other changes has been made is to book. So here I have a book with a blank page. Before, if you were to drag a cell or an image to it, you, you would have to have a cell already created. But now it will literally just basically fill the page. So you'll get a cell. So I'll go and drag another image to it. It will automatically have a cell there. Which you can drag around. So that is actually pulling it off it there. Anyway, but you don't have to have the cell actually created now. So as I am one of those people who has a Retina 5K, 
Um, and I do actually record these at 5K, but I have to export them at 1080. I'd love to give you the full size as I'm working. Um, so basically, if you have those bigger screens, you will definitely see more of an improvement from the GPU stuff, folks. Right, folks, if you do like this, please do give the channel a like. Uh, subscribe as well. Like I said, I am going to do another video, a dedicated one for real estate uh, based on HDR. And we will see that in, I don't know when I'm going to get it up. I'm going to try and do it now, but I'm going to get this one out first anyway. So, folks, thanks for taking time to watch this. And I will see you in the next video. And it probably won't be as long. Well, obviously it won't because I'm doing another one. But I mean, even after that, I'll probably do a few more from there. Uh, and I might even just do a what's going on video just so it's separate to all the other stuff. Because I know some of you know what's going on from the background from the last video. But anyway, again, ciao.